Welcome back to DIY My Way. If you clicked on this video, you're probably thinking about shop lighting. Maybe you're facing some of the same decisions that I did a couple of years ago when I chose my shop lights. There are a lot of things to consider in choosing a light fixture, such as the wattage, the brightness, the color of the light, the ease of installation, and the physical style of the light fixture. And if you're just looking to upgrade the existing lighting in your shop, there are some options there too. In this video, I'm going to cover my thought process as I chose these particular fixtures. I'll tell you why I like these and chose these, but I'll also cover some of the other options that are available out there for you, because what fits for me may not work for you. So let's get into it. There are many choices for shop lighting, such as the four foot LED high bay shop lights I chose, which I'll cover in detail in a minute. But there are also UFO style LED high bay lights and screw in LED foldable panel style shop lights. Also, there are four and eight foot fluorescent style LED fixtures. Finally, if you already have a shop lit by fluorescent fixtures, you can upgrade them to LED tubes to improve the brightness of your shop. I'll discuss these options as well, but first I'll give you the details on what I chose and why and how well they have worked. The four foot LED high bay shop lights I chose are made by High Quality, an LED lighting manufacturer based in California. The specs of the fixture I chose include commercial grade construction, it operates on 100 to 277 volts and consumes 210 watts. It produces 29,400 lumens of light with a 5,000 Kelvin daylight color temperature. The fixture is dimmable with a 0 to 10 volt control voltage, but the fixture supplies the 10 volt source, so all you need is a potentiometer connected to it with two wires to dim it. Also, you can control multiple fixtures with a single potentiometer. I chose not to use this function, but it's available if I ever change my mind. It's rated for 50,000 hours of continuous use. It is UL listed. The dimensions are 45.9 inches long by 13 inches wide and 3.6 inches high. It has a very impressive seven year warranty against any defect in materials and workmanship covering most damage and shipping costs for replacements. The fixture weighs only 14.3 pounds, so it's easy for one person to handle while installing. Finally, the price per fixture is $149.99 as of the posting of this video. The brightness, warranty, high reliability, and good Amazon ratings convinced me that this was the right fixture for my shop. There's a link to it in the video description. By the way, there are several models with different wattages and lumens to choose from. So the real question was, how many fixtures would I need? I decided to buy one and install it to find out. When I first got the fixture and plugged it in, it was very bright and I was encouraged. That is a bright panel. I mounted one near the center of the rear bay and plugged it up. It was obvious to me that two fixtures per bay would be plenty of light. Based on 40 to 50 foot candles of light, the recommended height of the fixtures I chose should be 30 feet above the floor. Instead, they hang about 14 feet above the floor. So it is a good bit brighter than is typical, but I love it. Also, the white walls and ceiling reflect a lot of light, which soften shadows and let me get the most brightness for the buck. By the way, since the fixtures don't include a power cord, I used three foot extension cords cut in half using the male half for the fixture and the female half instead of having to buy electrical sockets. The pros I see for this fixture are the commercial grade construction, the wide operating voltage range, very high brightness, the 5000 Kelvin daylight color temperature, it's dimmable, and has low glare and casts soft shadows because the lumens are emitted from a wide one by four foot area. On the con side, it's more expensive than some other options, and it can be a hassle for one person to install. These fixtures have been a great choice for me and have operated flawlessly for two years. Now let's look at some of the other options available to you depending on your needs, budget, and ceiling heights. Another option in the high bay lighting category is the so-called UFO style light fixture. The aptly named UFO style light is a cost effective choice for a super bright high bay fixture. By the way, be sure to watch the end of the video to see the full capabilities of this fixture. Its features, which are its pros, include cast aluminum housing that is IP65 rated, a wide operating voltage, and typically consumes 150 watts. High brightness ranging from 10,000 lumens to 21,000 lumens. 5,000 Kelvin daylight color temperature. It's dimmable with 1 to 10 volt control. It's easy for one person to install. 
It includes a 110 volt cord and it's cost effective ranging from $65 to $90 per fixture. The one con I see, which was a deal breaker for me, is the high glare they produce by concentrating all those lumens into a 9 to 12 inch disc. They can be blinding to look at, even if indirectly, and cast harsher shadows than the 1 by 4 foot fixtures. However, the higher your ceiling is, the less of a problem this is. If you think this type of fixture is a good fit for your needs, there's a link to the Amazon search results for them in the video description. From there, you can pick whichever brand best meets your needs. Another LED lighting option is the screw-in foldable panel style fixtures. These fixtures come in several different designs, like the ones you see here. They are very reasonably priced, ranging from $20 to about $36. They operate on 110 volts, typically consuming 100 watts, and screw into ordinary light bulb sockets. They offer high brightness from 6,000 lumens to 15,000 lumens. And of course, one of their best features are the folding light panels, which let you determine how wide of an area you want to illuminate. Also, they're easy to install, especially if you already have light bulb sockets on your ceiling. The cons to these fixtures are they only seem to be offered in the 6,000 Kelvin to 6,500 Kelvin color temperature range which lean toward a bluish hue, which can be quite harsh and sterile looking, in my opinion. Also, like the UFO lights, they concentrate a lot of lumens in a small area and can be blinding to look at, even indirectly. So if your shop ceiling is low, this could be a problem. Another consideration is that they are not dimmable. There's a link to the Amazon search results for this style of light fixture in the video description. If I were picking one, I'd choose one with at least four foldable panels and a center light for maximum coverage. If your shop or workspace has lower ceilings, say in the 8 to 10 foot range, then you might want to consider the LED fluorescent style replacement fixtures. These fixtures look very much like ordinary fluorescent fixtures, but bring the benefits of higher brightness and longer life. They're also available in 4 to 8 foot lengths and come in hanging or service mount styles. They operate on 110 volts and the 4 foot fixtures consume 40 watts and the 8 foot fixtures consume 100 watts and multiple fixtures can be daisy chained together for easier installation. Brightness ranges from 4,000 to 15,000 lumens, depending on the length of the fixture. You have a choice of color temperatures ranging from 5,000 to 6,500 Kelvin. The typical cost of a four pack of four foot fixtures ranges from 40 to $80. The main drawback to these is the surface mount style can be difficult for one person to install, especially the eight foot fixtures, and they're not dimmable. I've included a link to the Amazon search results for both 4 foot and 8 foot links of this style of light in the video description. And finally, if you already have a shop with the old fluorescent fixtures, you have the option of buying replacement bulbs that are LED style. If you already have fluorescent fixtures in your shop, you can choose to update the tubes to LED replacements and again get the benefits of higher brightness and longer life. They're available in 4 and 8 foot lengths. Fit in the existing fixtures just like fluorescent tubes and of course operate on 110 volts, with the 4-foot tubes typically consuming 18 watts and the 8-foot tubes 45 watts. The 4-foot tubes are available in a range of brightness from 2,000 to 3,000 lumens, and the 8-foot tubes range from 4,000 to 8,000 lumens. You have a choice of color temperatures ranging from 5,000 to 6,500 Kelvin. The typical cost of a 4-pack of 4-foot tubes ranges from $30 to $55. The cons of these LED tubes are, they require you to rewire the fixture. Specifically, you must bypass the ballast and wire the 110 volts directly to the tube sockets. Instructions are included for doing this, but you need to be comfortable with doing the rewiring. Also, they are not dimmable. Again, there are links to the Amazon search results for both 4-foot and 8-foot links of this style of light in the video description. In case you're wondering about the lifespan of these LED options, they all claim to last 50,000 hours. As for recommended ceiling height, the high base style lights are typically suited for ceilings ranging from 15 to 40 feet. The screw-in foldable panel style lights are good choices for ceilings 12 to 15 feet high. And the LED tube replacements and LED shop light fixtures are good for ceiling heights of 8 to 12 feet. These are just suggestions, and you can always go higher with them if you use more fixtures. So what's been your experience with shop lighting? If you've got anything to add, tips or tricks, uh, any other recommendations, please include them in the comments. I'd appreciate it very much. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please click that like button, leave a comment, and by all means, please subscribe. If you want to know when I post new videos, click that little bell. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.